Hey guys, it's your girl Shalane. I'm back today with a second stimulus check update video. In today's video, we're going to talk about how President Donald Trump is more determined than ever to get us out these $2,000 stimulus checks. Spoiler alert, I still don't think it's going to happen, but we're going to talk about it because a lot of people do. Then we're going to talk about unemployment, how it may be ending today for a lot of Americans and the states have some advice for the claimants. So stay tuned to see what they tell you you need to do regarding unemployment. Then we have hazard pay, student loans, and more. So if you want to know what is going on in the lovely world of stimulus, my darling, you already know what to do. Stay tuned, your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey friend. My name is Shalay and here on this channel, we talk about shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family, super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below when you are in just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because you love me bringing this content to you each and every single day and I enjoy doing it. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina said that, hey, he spent some time with President Donald Trump yesterday, or maybe at the golf course, okay? And he said that the president is more determined than ever to stick by his demand for the bigger stimulus payments for Americans to be approved by Congress in a bill this week. So he said, after spending some time with President, president Donald Trump today, meaning yesterday, I'm convinced he is more determined than ever to increase the stimulus payments to $2,000 per person and challenge Section 230 Big Tech Liability Protection. Graham tweeted this last night. He said, both are reasonable in demands and I hope Congress is listening. The biggest winner would be the American people. Now, I agree 100% that the biggest winner would be the American people. Now, on top of that, he said, you know, he was with the president in West Palm Beach, you know, at the golf course during the holidays. And so he said that that's what the president is still pushing for. So we will have to see. Only time will tell. Now, as of right now, <clears throat> excuse me, Larry Summers, a former secretary, treasury secretary, said the $2,000 stimulus check would be a serious mistake that could overheat the economy. So former U.S. Treasury Secretary Larry Summers, he told Bloomberg on yesterday that the stimulus checks for Americans would be a mistake. He said, hey, He's now he's reportedly an advisor to president elect Joe Biden's campaign, but he said that, Hey, this would not do any good for the economy. It's going to make us owe millions of dollars. He doesn't think that the $2,000 would work. So I don't know, guys, I have no idea. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think we're going to get the 2000 or we're going to get the 600? But as of right now on Monday, we will probably get a little bit more information because we know that um, Nancy Pelosi is saying, hey, the House is going to return on Monday and we're going to do a vote and we're going to do some different things. So we'll see. But I don't, you know, let's just not get our hopes up, especially let's not spend the money before we get it. All right. So moving along, as of right now, we know that the jobless workers, $300 federal unemployment benefits are set to end today. So because there was not a relief bill that was signed it is not going to be that $300. Now, as of Evermore told Insider, he said, I'm not entirely sure how this will be interpreted. At very least, we could lose a week of about $300, no matter what. If he doesn't sign, next week we'll go into 10 weeks of extra $300. So remember when in the initial bill, it was only for 11 weeks. And he's like, look, if we don't get this taken care of, it's going to keep decreasing anyway. Now, experts like Evermore said the two to three week gap in unemployment benefits is inevitable since states still will need time to recalibrate their computer systems as well. And they said states can't provide, cannot guys, they cannot provide benefits for weeks before the relief legislation is actually approved. So your state cannot give you this money until it's approved, depending on when it is signed. It could put the labor agencies on track to restart the payments during the first week of January. The $300 week supplement would end on March 14th, setting up only a 10 week extension instead of 11 weeks. So the longer we wait, the lesser um, weeks that you would get for your unemployment. So on here, this is the last day on there. Saturday is the last day for federal unemployment programs to distribute their payments they, that are the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance or the PUA. And that's for like our gig workers, the freelancers, the gig workers are Lyft, Uber drivers, 
And then the PEUC, which is the Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation, are those for those that have exhausted their state benefits. Now, here's what some of the states have to say, because Pennsylvania is one that's already talking. And Pennsylvania said, hey, with the unemployment benefits are set to end, they said they're urging their claimants to seek other options. And they have this on their website. They said Pennsylvania claimants will not get paid after December 20 which is today. So unemployment benefits under the CARES Act will expire and Pennsylvania claimants will not get paid. They said Pennsylvania claimants who are receiving PUA or PEUC payments need to be aware that they will not be able to file a claim next week and should begin preparing now to seek the necessities that they will need by other means. Kid you not, this is what they said. They said, I urge current PUA and PEUC claimants to apply for additional assistance through programs outside of the Labor Department as soon as possible to prevent their families from reaching an emergency or dangerous situation. Now, they do encourage you to apply for programs such as health insurance through Penny, the Lifeline, which is the telecommunications or the cell phone company, low income home energy assistance program. So that's like for your utility, Medicaid and medical assistance, meals for senior citizens, such as Meals on Wheels. They said the food banks or food pantries. And then they also said SNAP or food stamp benefits, which I also have a video coming out for that. So if you haven't, if it didn't show before this video, it's gonna show after this video for the food stamps. But this is exactly what is on the Pennsylvania website right now. It has the link that will take you to sign up for these programs because they're pretty much like, hey, we can't help you. There's nothing we can do at this point. Um, so we are in a tough situation right now. And guys, I've told you over and over again, hey, exactly what I'm doing, you guys can do it as well. I mean, if you want to get on YouTube, I'll shoot everything from my phone. So if you have a phone, you can do exactly what I'm doing, make a few extra coins. Let's not go into the new year with one stream of income or just the uncertainty. Get you, pay this $14.97, get the book, girl, start you a new skill, get you online, do what you need to do because, hey, they're telling you now to find other means and other resources. So get my ebook. Book. Okay, there you go. All right, so moving along in Maine. Maine is set to end the hazard pay for state workers as their federal funds expire as well. So Maine said that they will end hazard pay for certain workers on the last day of the year, December 31st, because they cannot use their own money to backfill expiring federal funds money. So certain employees that are within the correctional, agriculture, marine, administrative, public health departments received an additional $5 in hazard pay, while some staff that was at the psychiatric centers, they received about three to five dollars of hazard pay. But since nothing has been um, signed or approved, they said that as of right now, they don't have any more federal funding to provide the hazard pay. So that will be ending come December 31st. Now, with these student loans, a lot of people were talking about the student loans as well. The federal student loans for parents will not is not extended in the stimulus bill as of right now. So if you are a federal loan student borrower, you will have to pay up beginning February 1st unless something is changed because right now it's only until January 31st. A lot of people, we thought it was gonna be to April, but that did not happen. So according to the Institute of Student Loan Advisors, there's a chance that President-elect Joe Biden could step in after the inauguration. And they said that they do think that the President Joe Biden will extend is just a question of when. So when the forbearance period ends, she is expecting to see a high delinquency rate for people not paying their student loans. She said borrowers have fallen out of the habit of repayment. If you look at the research, a big indicator of long-term student loan management success is just the habit of making a payment and not all borrowers have done that as well. So that will happen on 
February 1st as well, unless President-elect step in. Then guys, remember in Miami, there is one more date for you to receive the $100 grocery gift cards. If you are in Miami on December 29th, you can actually go, they have it, where's their last location for you to get it. And that would be at West End Park on 6030 Southwest 2nd Street. The city says the event will begin at 8 a.m. and you will get free gift cards on a first come, first served basis for residents who have experienced hardship and food insecurity in 2020. So on there, that can help you pay for groceries, medicine, utilities on there and you can get up to a hundred dollars some people got 250 but now they say 100 dollars. so that's on december 29th at 8 a.m that's all i have guys like i know it's not the best news but that's what's going on hopefully i mean they knew this going into that something needed to be passed we will see and if there's any updates i will definitely be coming back to you but as always guys please like comment subscribe definitely get your book we got to find other means other resources at this point because if we're continuing to wait on this government it doesn't seem like they're coming to save us all right that's all i got enjoy your family happy saturday talk to you tomorrow bye guys